Hi, I'm Kyle McGrath. I was diagnosed with Crohn's in 2016, and I'm one of 70,000 Hoosiers who are affected by IBD. You know, my journey and kind of official diagnosis started in 2016, but I think there was some elements that started to show up years before that, months before that, that really kind of started me on my journey. Growing up, kind of my story is rooted in being in athletics and in fitness. And I think with anybody that makes fitness a part of their just daily life, you look for areas to improve around that, whether it's sleep quality or nutrition. And for me, started working with a nutritionist, tracking my macros, and quite frankly, I wasn't getting the results I had hoped for. And in fact, I started to have symptoms and side effects um, with some of the foods that I ate that was a bit unusual. My symptoms really started to flare up and started to come to a point really at the end of 2015. Uh, for folks that may not know, Danielle and I uh, lost twins <clears throat> in December of 2015. So as we got into 2016, you know, that weight, that uncertainty, that um, kind of mental obstacle that you go through um, just continued to roll. And then I continued to have just, you know, adverse reactions to food and not knowing what was going on. And it really came to a head where one day I just, I reached my breaking point. I knew I turned to Danielle and I was like, I gotta go to the emergency room. Had several tests run, um, several conversations with physicians, you know, the colonoscopy, and which really confirmed that yes, I, I had Crohn's and I was diagnosed um, in 2016 in November-ish time frame. And really that for me mentally was just another, what is this now, right? That I've got to deal with, that I, you know, know nothing about. Um, that I'm gonna have for the rest of my life. I go back to you know, my original diagnosis, right? And, and trying to figure out what does this Crohn's world look like? How many people are you know, impacted by it? What resources are out there, right? I, again, the conversations you have, the connections that you make. I was introduced to folks that were involved with the foundation, right? It was an unknown to me at the time. Um, but just through those initial meetings and people sharing their story with me, I got to realize all the great resources, um, the tools, uh, the, the information that the foundation makes available uh, to folks that are impacted by IBD. I've been impressed with the research that's going into it, um, the type of technologies that you know folks can receive hopefully one day through the donations that are made um, to help people with this disease going forward. And it affects, I think, Shockingly, not just adults, right? It's kids as well that are impacted, which has been, I think, my biggest, you know, open my eyes type of moment is just, you know, seeing kids go through this and then learning that the foundation has a camp to help kids. Well, I know I think it's something that's always in the back of our minds, you know, wondering, is this going to impact our boys? Um, and I think that's something that we know to look out for going forward, but I can tell you, uh, they are incredibly active, uh, as we both can attest, and so there is no stopping them. And so I think it actually keeps us going, probably keeps you even more active and fit, you know, than you yeah. otherwise would be. I really think it's about you know being able to teach them empathy. And so when you say I'm not feeling good today, or hey, Dad needs a break, you know they need to understand that you know that's time to kind of let up a little bit and um, you know give give everybody their space. And so hopefully that's something that they can appreciate you know going forward, understanding that sometimes we aren't always 100%. You know you've been obviously my rock through all this, right? It's you put up with you know, my quirkiness when it comes to fitness or nutrition and who knows what or when I would have been diagnosed without you. That moment in 2016 and, and you know, as severe as the symptoms got, right, you didn't let me accept, you encouraged me to continue to seek help and find answers until we had answers. Um, if I didn't take that advice, who knows how bad things could have gotten. So I appreciate it and thank you. Love you. Too. And I just, on my end, want you to know how brave I know you are. Um, it takes a lot to say that you need to go out, that you need to get help. Um, and you did that. And it wasn't too late. And I think that's really impacted your quality of life and our family's quality of life today. And
And so thank you for, for being you, always being our rock and our supporter, and know that we'll always have your back too.